Well, this is a story going back decades. The infamous, gruesome Girl Scout murders in Mays County in 1977. The commemoration of the crime is rapidly approaching, and News 4 has learned Cherokee Nation investigators have taken another look at the case since the McGirt ruling put the crime scene in their jurisdiction. Austin Brissett has the new information. You're just not ready for drive up on something like that and find three little girls. That's something I'll take to my grave. Oklahoma's most notorious cold case. On June 13, 1977, investigators made a gruesome discovery at a Girl Scout camp in Mays County in northeastern Oklahoma, finding the bodies of 8-year-old Lori Farmer, 9-year-old Michelle Gousset, and 10-year-old Denise Milner under a tree near their tent. The girls were raped, mutilated, beaten, and strangled. I know that I worked 185 who done homicides, and this was as strong a one as I ever saw. Friends, Michelle Gousset and Denise Milner. Prosecutors originally focused on 33-year-old Jean Hart, a Cherokee Native American and convicted rapist who was nearby when the crime happened. But the jury ultimately acquitted him of the killings. He died weeks later from a heart attack in prison while serving time for a previous rape and burglary conviction. Different investigations have pointed the finger at different people since, but no one has been convicted of the crime. Sherry Farmer, Lori's mother, told News 4 on the phone Friday that to this day they continue to work for victims' rights and honor their daughter and the other victims. The Cherokee Phoenix citing in an article that in 2020 the Cherokee Nation became involved after the McGirt ruling, assigning tribal investigators to the case in 2022. Farmer added that she appreciates that the Cherokee Nation wants to find out more, adding that she still wants to seek the truth, as she and her husband have done for the past 40-plus years. Austin Brissett, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Austin, thank you. Now, we reached out to the OSBI. We didn't get a response, but the Cherokee Nation told us because of the McGirt decision, as we said, they do have jurisdiction over where the murder happened. Going on to say they will review any legitimate claims in this specific case as they're brought forward. To date, nothing has changed, they say. You can read the full statement at KFOR.com.